and welcome to my channel cake. I'm your hostess Suzanne. Today we're going to be making these Disney mini M&M brownies. Yum! If you'd like to know how I made them and how you can make them too, just keep watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this Disney M&M brownie yum. I cannot wait to share this recipe with you guys today. I got this recipe from Disney Hungry on Instagram. You don't have to have a stand mixer for this recipe. A hand mixer will work just as well. I have one stick of unsalted butter. It's partially melted. Let's go ahead and put that in our stand mixer. I will leave the recipe down in the description box below for you guys, so don't feel like you have to write it down right now. Next, we'll add two tablespoons of canola oil. To that, we'll add one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Let's go ahead and get those combined. And next, we'll add our two eggs and our teaspoon of vanilla. Let's go ahead and give those a good mixing. Next goes in our half of a cup of all-purpose flour and our one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Next goes in a fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt and one teaspoon of baking powder. Next we want to stir this batter just until combined. We don't want to over mix it. Let's finish this batter off by hand. Uh, that looks pretty yummy. They did not have mini chocolate chips on the shelves. The shelves are pretty bare right now, you guys. So I went ahead and just used regular size chocolate chips and chopped them up. Okay, let's go ahead and scoop our batter into our baking cups. I have already preheated my oven to 325 degrees. I got these off of Amazon. I will leave the link for them down in the description box below for you guys. Let's go ahead and try a full-size ice cream scoop for this batter. Okay, I divided out the batter evenly between the six baking cups. Let's go ahead and flatten out the batter. I'm just using a small offset spatula. You can use a small spoon, knife, whatever you have on hand. Okay, I got them all filled and leveled off. Let's go ahead and stick these in our preheated oven, which I've preheated to 325 degrees. See you guys in a second. Oh my goodness, you guys, this kitchen smells amazing. Oh, I cannot wait for these to cool down. They were in the oven for 33 minutes. I placed them on this cooling rack. They'll sit here for about 30 minutes, and at that time, we'll get started with the frosting. See you guys in a second. Okay, our Disneyland M&M brownies are now cool enough to frost, so let's go ahead and get this frosting started. I have a cooktop here and a pan. One stick of unsalted butter. Let's go ahead and get that started. We're going to go ahead and let this melt. Our butter is almost melted. Let's go ahead and add our 3 fourths cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Let's go ahead and whisk this until it's nice and smooth. I'm going to go ahead and transfer this cocoa and butter mixture into my stand mixer. I'm going to let it sit there for about 30 minutes before we move on to the next step. Our mixture has cooled. Let's go ahead and add our powdered sugar and our milk and our vanilla. I have a half a cup of milk here with a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna add those together. We're gonna to alternate between the powdered sugar and the milk and vanilla mixture, adding it into our frosting. We're gonna start and end with the dry. This frosting is so beautiful. Let's go ahead and frost our brownies. Mm 
These look so good, but we're not finished with them yet. Let's go ahead and put on our mini M&Ms. I think I have more of a hankering for the Disneyland treats now that I know I can't have any for a while. <laughs> so I'm making videos for you guys so I can have the treats. You guys, these are crazy times. I hope you're all taking care of yourself and taking all the precautions you need to while you're at home and keeping a smile on your face. <laughs> We're gonna make it through this, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. It really does mean the world to me. If you're new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It's quick and it's easy. If you like this video, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you are so inclined, please share this video with your friends and family. That really helps a lot. If you have any comments, please leave those down in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you. I'm having an amazing day. I hope you are as well. Until next time, make it a great day.